We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we are going to continue painting this Karn the Betrayer mini, and we are going to paint the skin on this long arm that's exposed and not armored. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we need to create a base coat for our skin color. Right now everything's been sprayed so it's a little bit red. So we need to take that redness and turn it into more of a brown. The first color we're going to use is going to be Mournfang Brown. We're going to mix it with Lamian Medium which we're going to do with all of our paints. And we just want to paint this all over all of the skin. It's going to be really close to the red that we already have on there, but again, this color is a little bit more brown and less red. And since we've got Lamian Medium in our paint, the paint's going to apply nice and smooth, but it will take a couple layers to really build up a nice solid color. Our next color is going to be Deathclaw Brown. And this is really going to be the base color for our skin. We're just leaving that Mornfang Brown color in the darkest shadows and the areas where the skin is transitioning into the armor or you have really deep pockets of muscle. But we're going to be covering most of the skin in this Deathclaw Brown color. Again, we want to work with a nice thin paint and build it up slowly, apply a couple layers if needed. As we move on to the hand, we do want to keep a dark shadow in between each of the fingers. However, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of this color in those gaps right now, just because we don't want the fingers to look too skinny. And if we left that really dark Mornfang Brown color in there, the fingers would lose a little bit of their size. Next, I want to take my Deathclaw Brown and I want to mix in a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone. And with this color, we're going to start to really exaggerate all the round areas on the muscles and make them appear like they're bigger and bulkier. So we're going to paint this color on the top of all the round shapes that are sculpted on the arm, really highlighting the areas where the light would be catching it and leaving the areas where it's a little bit deeper, that darker color. This is going to kind of build up and exaggerate the shape of that area. As we move on to the hand, this is a color that we really want to just concentrate on the tops of each of the fingers, leaving that darker pure Deathclaw Brown color in the middle. And really paying special attention to the areas on the knuckles, both at the top of the fist and in the middle of the fingers as well. Next we're using Pure Cadian Flesh Tone. And we're just continuing to build up the color on the top of each of these bulges. We're painting over about 70% of our previous layer. You can see I'm not painting this area where the cord is coming out of the arm. However, I am painting over to some of the veins, even though I'm going to paint those a slightly different color later, just because I want to keep the color underneath the veins consistent. Our last skin highlight is going to be with the color Kissel of Flesh. And this is our last chance to really make these muscles look nice and big. So I'm going to concentrate mostly on the areas that would really be hit by light as if it were shining from directly above. I'm also putting just a little bit of this color down at first and then kind of looking at it, keeping a constant eye on the shape and the roundness of the area and adding more to it if I feel like I need to. I can also always go back with a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone, blend the transition and tone down the brightness in any area where I feel like it went a little bit too light. Next, I'm gonna take the color Raiklin Flesh Shade and I'm just applying a little bit of this to a few areas. I wanna get it into the deepest recesses of the muscles to kind of tint that shadow. It's also going to help me blend all of my colors together a little bit. And then it's also going to help with the transition where the skin meets up with different areas like the cord on the top of the arm or where the shoulder goes into the armor. The last thing we want to do is we want to pick out these large veins in a gray color. 
We're going to begin with the color Warp Fiend Gray. And I'm just painting this over the top of those large veins. Picking them out in a contrasting color really makes them stand out and makes this arm seem a little bit more demonic versus just having it look like normal human flesh. Next, we want to highlight that Warp Fiend Gray with the color Pallid Witch Flesh. I'm just using a very small detail brush and really painting the very top of that rounded area so that you can still see the Warp Fiend Gray on either side and just the very top is highlighted. And the last thing we want to do is take a little bit of Druchy Violet and I'm just going to paint this over the top of the vein. I don't want it to go on too thick because I don't want it to cover too much of the flesh area. However, I do want just a little hint of that purple color to kind of help blend the transition between vein and skin and kind of make them a little bit more integrated with each other. And once that shade has dried, the fleshy arm on this Karn model is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I paint Karn's plasma pistol in the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a Vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a 7 day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming!